Uh, welcome back to uh, Principles Engineering. We're up to problem number 18 in our problem set for 1.1.2, uh, Simple Machines, so we're exploring some of those problems. So without further ado, let's get rolling on this. Number 18 talks about a civil engineer has to design a wheelchair accessible ramp next to a set of steps leading up to a building. It says that the height of the access or the height from the ground to the top of the stairs is two feet, and then based on the ADA codes, I need a one in twelve slope, meaning that for every one foot up I go, I need to go twelve feet over. Uh, it essentially says to draw and annotate uh, this ramp. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so two feet, we were given that, and we're given a pitch on this that says that if I go up two feet, I need to go over 12 times to 24 feet. So that is number 18. Uh, yeah, the next thing it asks you is 19 is really just to do this math again. So not sure why they did that. But really the slope of the stairs uh, equals to the rise over the run. And I can say that this equals to 1 12th, and that's my rise over my run, and then we're trying to find the run distance. So what I would do is invert this and uh, simply say that uh, my rise equals to 2 feet, so let me put that 2 feet over my run equals to 1 over 12, multiply both this times 12, both sides times 12, uh, and that will cancel out and then I'm going to come up here in yellow and multiply both sides by my run distance and you'll see that my run will cancel out and then I end up with the equation that the run equals to 24 feet which is what I simply did in my head on the first one so pretty straightforward Okay, number 20. So using the known height and uh, calculated base length, it says what is the length of the slope of the, of the ramp? And this is just a little bit of geometry. Uh, we didn't really talk too much about this, but if we just apply Pythagorean theorem here, what we can do is say for any unit triangle here, I've got C squared, or C rather, A and B. And Pythagorean says that uh, c squared equals to a squared plus b squared. So we're trying to find c. Therefore, c equals to the uh, square root of a squared plus b squared. Uh, substituting in my formulas, what I end up with is uh, c equals to the square root of 2 feet squared plus 24 feet squared. Uh, if you solve that out, you're going to get a fairly obtuse number, something like 24.083 feet. Uh, and I just round that off and said, hey, that's about 24.1. So those are all pretty straightforward. So 21 asks us, hey, what is the IMA? So the IMA of that inclined plane is going to equal to the length uh, along which the force is going to be applied and then the height. So we just calculated the length, and this is the length in that formula. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in green. So here's my length, and that's 24.1. We talked a little bit about this in class too. So my height is the two feet. So what that ends up being is it ends up being equal to uh, 24.1 divided by two feet. I've got my units up there, and that's approximately going to equal 12.042, and I'm just going to call that 12. It's what it rounds to with significant digits. So that's my IMA. Now the next question is a little bit trickier. So I'm going to clean off my slate here a little bit, remembering that our, uh, that our IMA equals to 12. So on this next one here, we know our IMA is equal to 12. 
And what it asks here is that if I push somebody up this ramp right here, and I push somebody up with 185 pounds of force, okay? So the wheel, they have a combined weight of 185 pounds. So there's my 180 pounds, five pounds of force. How much ideal effort of, is required to travel up the ramp? So what I'm gonna say is, in, since we said ideal efforts, I'm gonna say my IMA equals to my AMA. And you'll remember that my AMA equals to my force uh, of resistance divided by my force of effort. So I already figured out what my IMA is, right? So I said that's gotta equal to 12. I've just said that my force resistance right here is 185 pounds. So that equals to 185 divided by my force of effort, which would be how hard I needed to push that. So here's my force effort. So just a little bit of manipulation on that, and I'll go ahead and start this in orange. What I can do is I, uh, it'll multiply both sides by, or pink rather, multiply both sides by my force of effort, and you'll see it cancels out. Divide by 12 on both sides, that cancels out, and I arrive at the equation that my force of effort is equal to 185 pounds divided by 12, or another obtuse number approximately equal to 15.417, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, round that off, uh, it's about 15.41 pounds. And that kind of makes sense, less effort to push them up the ramp. We're going over greater distance. So, cool, makes sense to me. So that is a ramp problem. Now we also have a wedge problem in here, and the wedge problem is really like we talked about, just another ramp problem. So we can think about those as, as the exact same uh, thought process and what this problem tells me is I've got a quarter inch thick cutting blade So that's that quarter inch right there. Uh, so I've got a quarter inch thick cutting blade Right here And it says the angle is 45 degrees <coughs> So by virtue of that I know that it's a quarter inch tall also I know that So there are my dimensions it says I'm pushing down with 2,000 pounds. That's number 23. So it says, hey, sketch the cross section. So that's what I've got. This is just a cut line or an incomplete drawing line. Uh, so let's go on to question number 24 and see what they ask us to do with this. So in 24, it asks, say, hey, what's the length of the slope? Well, once again, this is just another one of these Pythagorean theorem problems. So I've got A and B. So what I can say is C squared equals to A squared plus B squared, where C equals to the root of A squared plus B squared. Ooh, my handwriting's bad there. Apologize for that. Whoops. So uh, carrying that out, let me substitute some numbers in. I can say that C equals to the root of 0.25 inches squared plus 0.25 inches squared. Uh, gonna get another fairly obtuse number here. Tip my writing pad back here. That's going to uh, essentially equal to point, I think it's 0.35355-ish. And you know what I'm gonna say? That's about equal to 0.354. I'm gonna round to one significant digit past where my decimals were. And this is, of course, in inches. That's telling me the distance of this slope is 0.354 inches. Okay, so now it asks you, hey, what is the ideal mechanical advantage of this uh, of this wedge. So looking at that, what I really got now is I've just got basically got a wedge that looks like this, don't I? And uh, my height here is 0.25 inches, right? And my width here is 0.25 inches. And guess what? 
when I come down here and I say, hey, what is the IMA uh, equals to my length divided by my height? 0.25 inches divided by 0.25 inches. It's as complex as it gets. Equals to 1. So there you have it. Now we're up to screws. We're going to hold off uh, doing the screw and stop at this point. Hopefully that helped. Thanks for watching.